Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a car with automatic transmission. You need to remove or replace transmission valve body. We will explain the basics about that, what needs to be done, what it involves. It's not as complicated as people think guys. Okay, so make sure to stand till the end. We will explain how to do it and uh, always guys use uh, original transmission fluids okay for your transmission because otherwise you may develop problems so we had a problem like that with a, with a vehicle uh, recently that we used uh, non-original fluid and it developed problems so we had to flush it three times and that fixed the problem but uh, before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below guys that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save quite a bit of money so we need to drain the fluid remove our pen get to the valve body and we'll explain how to do that all that okay step by step let's start on it now so we have the front end removed on that car so we can uh, demonstrate what we're talking about if you have a uh, engine that's uh, 90 degrees okay like that when you open the engine bay you face the engine that way uh, the transmission usually will be for the front wheel drive on the right side if uh, if you have a longitudinal i think it's called the engine the one that's facing backwards the transmission will be under the body guys and the oil pan will be underneath but this one will be for uh, probably 90 95 percent of the front wheel drive vehicles will be that way so looking at you guys okay this is the transmission pan okay that's where the oil is uh, some transmission may have something like that but for this one it's not where you drain it this is where you check the transmission level actually oil level uh, on the top you have a breather hose here but where is actually the drain plug if you look underneath that transmission guys okay if you look underneath let me show you here okay right there okay come on let me just position it good okay perfect right there these guys right here with a 24 millimeter that's our transmission drain plug so all we have to do okay now we have to go ahead okay and get it loose now uh, there is one common mistake people make make sure to stand till the end so no he didn't oh yep he went so we're getting it loose now always wear gloves eye protection as well if you drive the transmission for about i would say uh, maybe about uh, 10 20 minutes before you drain the oil you can guys make sure that that oil will come out better it will be warmer and now check out give me one second okay check out the amount of shavings okay on the magnetic plug always clean the plug and it's always recommended to install new washer because later you can in, uh, you can develop transmission drips guys so you can see the transmission fluid is coming out it's pretty bad most people don't change transmission fluid but on most cars you should guys and we have a video that explains how often to change automatic transmission fluid and uh, uh, in that video we'll talk why sometimes you need to change it up to three times okay to fix problems so if you want to check out the video it will be on our channel guys so uh, that's it guys you can see you just let it drain but another thing now if you remove the oil pan for instance that transmission you cannot replace the transmission filter because you have to take the whole transmission apart and get it off the vehicle but if you remove the oil pan you will drain probably another half a quart for that specific model and uh, if you guys uh, uh, remove the solenoids or the valve body you will drain probably another half a quart you will not be able to uh, drain all of it probably you will get about 50 to 60 percent of the transmission fluid because you will have some in the torque converter as well now the uh, way to change transmission fluid if you want to change all of it you need to uh, drain it good add fluid check the level okay that's a common mistake people make they don't check the level for their transmission correctly drive the car for about 50 to 100 miles drain it again change it and do that two or three times so you can get about uh probably about 90 percent of the transmission fluid will be changed that way because let's say the first time you will change about 50 percent second time you will change another 50 which will have 50 of the old ones so that's quarter of the old one so you're at 75 percent the third time will be at about 87 88 percent of the fluid will be renewed in the transmission 
So we drain the transmission fluid. Next, uh, usually you may have a breather hose or something like that on your transmission that attaches to the oil pan. Uh, for instance, guys, that transmission has been used, probably not to say a big word, but probably in most than uh, 50 models of Kia, uh, of Hyundai, that I know of Dodge, Jeep, Chrysler models. Okay, it's a Hyundai transmission, but it's been used in so many cars because manufacturers nowadays, guys, what they do, they actually, well, let's say one develops the transmission, the other one develops the engine, they switch things, the development is cheaper that way. So next, once you drain the fluid, you will have, guys, quite a few, okay, bolts that you need to start removing around the oil pan. And the more you remove, eventually you will start leaking fluid as well so that's what we'll be doing now always have container to catch that so you can see slowly we're doing that now oh we missed one okay and soon we'll start leaking some fluid Okay, you can see it started dripping. This is because the gasket got loose on the last one. Make sure you hold the pan because it will come off and you don't want to break electronics. You have wires underneath usually, anything like that. So this is the last one. We're slowly going to release it now and pull it out. Now, okay, check it out just like that. Perfect. And the transmission oil pan came out. Now that's where your gasket is located as well. You can see inside the canal. Okay, one second. That's your gasket, guys. Eventually, that gasket will uh, be exposed to quite a bit of heat, so it will uh, turn. It will not be so flexible. It will turn kind of like plastic. And from there, what will happen? Actually, uh, it will develop leaks because it will not be able to seal correctly the transmission. But uh, that's how you guys remove the oil pan on transmission. That's how you remove the gasket if you need to fix oil leaks. What I would recommend, remove it, clean the canal really good. Clean the transmission housing on the outside where the new gasket will be uh, contacting. Make sure there is no oil dripping and reseal it that way. Okay, you will not have leaks. If you want to see any videos about testing solenoids, how to fix transmission that doesn't shift, slipping or hard shifting, uh, we'll have all these videos on our channel. So once the oil pan has been removed, you can see right here guys on that transmission, yours may differ a little bit, but we need to disconnect, okay, the wiring harness for the, uh, sol uh, for the shifter solenoid. So here we have three bolts for the wiring harness and one for the uh, transmission fluid temperature sensor. So we're going to do that. Now, so yours may differ, you may have just a regular wiring harness individually connected to the solenoids. Uh, it really depends, some are together, so let's remove that sensor not to break it. Okay, we just grab, pull it out. Okay, you can see where the solenoids are located. Now, uh, we may need to remove the shifter spring right here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Because otherwise we will not be able to reposition and remove the valve body because uh, the shifter okay right here the valve body goes in the shifter you can see so let's uh, let's go ahead and show you what else we need to do the valve body we have multiple bolts that we need to remove and we'll remove them in a cross pattern so let's do that now one and uh, <coughs> make sure you hold it on the last one because it's heavy it can drop break you can damage the transmission component so you gotta make sure that you have clean hands holding it because it's slippery from the all the fluid as well now it needs to come out a little bit in an angle to come out of the shifter as well so let's do that gently pull it out okay perfect this is guys okay the transmission valve body okay dripping a little bit of oil but that's how it came out now in on that specific transmission that's where you can see uh, input output speed sensor is that's where the clutches are located that's where the transmission filter is located as well but yeah that's how you guys remove it if you want to see the symptoms of bad transmission valve body we'll have the video on the channel hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that thank you for watching and see you next time